Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 871. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 869 to 872, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have cells with text strings, and each cell has a bunch of line returns and different lines within the cell. And our goal is to extract the last line. So I need to extract that and put it here. This one and put it here. This one and put it here. So how in the world are we going to do that? Well, first, we want to talk about line returns. Line returns, if you're typing in Excel and you Alt-Enter, it adds a word wrap, but it's really a line return, because a line return wraps regardless of the width of the column. So that, that looks like this, what this is, what's going on here. And so, whoops, Control-Z. We need to know if we're going to use a formula to uh, manipulate this. We want to find the last line return and then take everything after it. So in formula language, or the formula element that allow us to search or do stuff with a hard line return, character 10. Character is a function called character. And when you say 10, that little bit right there is a line return. No, you know, when you do Alt, Enter, that adds the line return, but there is something there. And in formulas, that's what Alt Enter is. All right, now, there's one, two, three, four here. There's three here. There's one line return here. So I want to count how many there are. Now, I'm going to start out by saying len. Len will just count how many characters, right, 148. But now, I really need a count of um, how many uh, character 10 functions or line returns there are. So I'm going to from len minus the len, and I'm going to use inside len, I'm going to use the substitute function to search for all of the character 10s and replace them with nothing. And this little construction will give us the count. So substitute, here's the text. The old text is character 10. That's the old text, comma, the new text, a null text string, double quote, double quote and then close parentheses on the substitute and close parentheses on the len. That construction there will give us the count. So there's 4, 3, 1, 0. And that little 0 there later uh, will use the fact that, that this construction gives us um, exact count or 0. And when we only have one line, our formula will run into trouble. And we'll use that 0 to help us. All right, but now we have counted how many line returns there are. So how am I going to get the last one here? Well, I'm going to search. But right now, I can't search if, and find the last one unless I do another substitute and say, hey, find the in fourth instance and put a different character. So I'm going to use substitute again. Substitute, here's the text, comma, the old, the old text is character 10 comma, the new text, and I'm going to put some text like you know, pound sign or bar or something that's never going to be there except for in this. That's the new text. And watch this, comma, instance. Now, we didn't use that instance the first time we used substitute. But here, our len minus len substitute, it says find the fourth what and put this bar in. All right, and so when I copy this down, you can see there's the bar right there. I don't know why we're not. Oh, there's the bar right there. All right, now we can search for that, and it will give us the actual position. So I'm going to say search function, find what text, comma, bar, comma, within, and that's uh, that whole bit right there. And so 118 is the position uh, right before the, the next line. I'm actually going to add 1 to it. That gives me 119. That 0 right thing there is the 119th character. 91, that 0 there, and that uh, 1 right there is the 30th character. Now notice, this gives us a value error. We'll fix that in just a moment. But now I can simply use something like the mid. The mid extracts a subtext string from a larger text string. So I'm going to say, boop, that whole text. What's the starting number? That right there, comma. And the number of characters, you have to put something big enough so that you get it all the time. I'm going to put 2 caret 15, which is more characters than a cell allows. One more than a cell allows. So that'll always get it. Did I do that right? 
comma, yeah, that's the number of characters, control enter, and double click and send it down. So it looks like it's always getting, in essence, looking up the last line in a cell when we have uh, line returns. Now what are we going to do about this? In 2007 and 10, it's easy to just use the if error. If that's an error, comma, what do you want? A null, um, we want, because um, down here you can see that's the error, so we want one cell to my left. Close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down, so that seems to be working. In earlier versions, since there isn't an if error like 2003, we're going to come over here, equals that. I'm going to use that, but I, I want to look at part of this, because I want to use the if. And you, we could use the if and put this whole thing in is error, but we don't need to run that. This is all we need right here, comma. Right, so I'm going to equals and put this here, just so we can take a look. Again, we looked at this earlier. Notice, ah, that 0. If we use the if function, any non-zero number is true, including negatives or positives, and 0 is false. So I'm going to use this little bit as the trigger. So over here, I'm going to say if the logical test, control V, comma, the value of true, all that, comma, the value of false, one cell, to, I'm going to put A1. And then control enter. And double click and send it down. So that'll work in 2003 or later. All right, so looking up the last line in a cell. All right, see you next video.